good morning. It is tournament day. This is tournament vlog number four. Uh, fourth tournament of the year, 2019. I'm playing Explore Suncrest, which is my first tournament out of the state. Well, take that back. I played cross state doubles, but this is my first PDGA sanctioned tournament outside of the state. Got a few changes to my bag, and I'm going to keep you updated. I've got this here, Axis. Added it recently just to try it out. Uh, I got my first ace with an Axis, but uh, I'm not sure if it's going to stay. But for right now, shout out to Smoky Mountain Discs, Kevin Harris, for that. I've also added this plasma streamline trace. It's a 169 gram, and uh, I think it's going to be a good disc for my arm speed. So I've already got this uh, neutron trace in here. But I've added the plasma as well. I love the feel of the plastic. Also took out the Nova. It was over here beside the spin, but I just don't use it on the course, so I uh, decided to take it out. And uh, those are the additions. I'm going to Kingsport right now to pick up my buddy Jonathan Pickle, and we're going to ride up together to the tournament. So Explore Suncrest, hosted by Tim Barr, the host of the 2017 US WDGC in Johnson City. Uh, Designed a ton of course around here. Uh, does a lot, a lot, lot for the sport here. So, so happy to play another one of his events. It's been way too long. But uh, I'm gonna hop in the car, start driving, check back in with you. Suncrest Park. It's a. Uh, it's it's just a Tim design uh, by Tim Barr, but his designs are always amazing. He designed the Rogersville City Park, which we hadn't filmed that yet, but we will hopefully this year. Uh, he designed Sugar Hollow, which I'm sure you saw that video. He designed a bunch of courses in the area and does so much work ar around this area. So. Uh, Super excited to play another 10 bar event. I, I don't think I've played a 10 bar event in I think it's been two years. So I'm very I'm slacking there. I feel pretty good about this course uh, at, at the uh, Suncrest Park. I've heard uh, Tim described it as kind of similar to like Borden Park, uh, maybe a little longer or something like that. But uh, uh, last tournament I played, which it wasn't PDGA sanctioned, but last tournament I played at Borden Park was uh, Borden Extreme. A few year, a couple years ago, it was my first ever intermediate tournament, and I actually won it. So uh, I'm very pumped about this of course. Uh, I've not, like I said, I've not seen it. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some shots on the course with me and Pickle uh, because uh, neither one of us have ever played it. But we're gonna try and practice a little bit before, at least throw some drives, doing some practice putting as well. The sun. All right. Well, I picked up pickle, as you can see, and uh, we met Josh Delp here, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do some practice. So I'm gonna set the camera up and get some shots on the course. So yeah, here we go. Get one just to go straight in that just a little bit. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I think you can get forehand over the top pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not high. Oh. But it might be in the middle. Trim some of that lettuce yeah. out of the way for us. <laughs> 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 oh, it's slick right there. Just hit that initial gap. That, that downhill right there carries. Yeah. <laughs> 
that. Uh -huh. If you can throw that into oh, the ground, yeah. it'll be long, but you're in the open. It's, it's kind of funny. We were all ice on this whole last yeah, year. Yeah, I know. Okay, so round one is over. I've got Pickle and Delp with me. And uh, how do we shoot, guys? Not bad. 54. 54. Shot one down. One down. Par 55, obviously. I'm sure you can do math. What, you shot 49. a... 49. 49. What a prick. Um, <laughs> is that good? I'm joking. And I shot a uh, 51. So not too bad. Uh, four down, and I got like either three or four fours, so I'm happy with a 51. But round two, we're going to do a lot better, right? I'm not too sure about it. Oh, we just ate five guys. <laughs> oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> burgers. We ate, it, it's burger, a burger burgers. place. Hold on, let's show them because this here. might not be everywhere. Okay. Five guys, burgers and fries. Okay. Now that we cleared that so, up. So now that that's cleared up, yeah. We just ate some burgers uh, with lots of bacon and cheese, and now we're not worth anything. So mm -hmm. we're gonna head back to the course and see where we're at on the leaderboard, and uh, yeah, we'll check back in after round two. Well, mm -hmm. how to? <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> let me offer a word of advice to all you disc golfers: when you go for your lunch in between your rounds, eat something healthy, <laughs> something light. Nutritious, even. <laughs> True. Not Five Guys greasy burgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're very, very greasy. It'll and make for a yeah. rough second round, <laughs> to say the least. Definitely. Yeah. I, 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 mine was okay. What did you say you finished, or do you want to say or no? I'm not sure exactly <laughs> uh, what the number is, but it was over par. Over par. We'll yeah, say that. By a few <laughs> I was under. I, I finished under uh, three under this round, so one stroke worse than the my last round i was on I, I was headed for five i was five under at one point in time and i was like yes this is working but uh got to hole four absolutely parked the first round tapped it in and i got a five on that so that kind of screwed me up there so it was kind of downhill uh, i think i actually ended up cashing in the tournament and uh, uh i left because we're we were, we were thirsty. <laughs> yeah. We went and got some Gatorade and uh, got hydrated again. And uh, you want to go get some more burgers? <laughs> no. I'm going to have to take a break from the burgers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that is going to be it for right now. I don't know exactly what place I finished in. Do you know what your place was? Not. No. But, well, I will update. I'll try and since Pickle was in the vlog with me the whole time, I will update. I'll tell you his round ratings if I get his permission public record <laughs> yeah that's true it's public i'll just <laughs> put a link to his pdga page and you can no I won't. but <laughs> whoa uh, so much but uh yeah that's uh i'll up you update you on the ratings once they're up but uh, i i don't know at all what any of the ratings were for the rounds but i was saving down for the tournament so i'm i'm okay with it it's, i think it was better than my other rounds this year so hopefully my rating will be moving on up so if Tim sees this, thank you, Tim. Absolutely. Tim Barr, thank you for hosting the tournament and setting everything up. It was my first time playing it, so I had a great time. And uh, look forward to coming out next year if it's yeah. set up again. If you are in, in anywhere near our area, play some of Tim's courses. Sugar Hollow, the Rogersville course, he designs like 
a lot of the courses in the area and they're all they all have their own like Rogersville is a little short course and Sugar Hollow is a beast so great course designs and play some of his hybrid events they're absolutely fun so that is all I'm going to drop pit, pit. That we've is, been in the sun a lot today. Yeah. Josh can't speak. I can't, I can't speak. So I, he, he's, he's going and I'm going home. So I'll update you on the ratings soon. Peace. Bye. All right, everybody. It is the next day and I've got the PDGA website here. Uh, just wanted to update you on the rounds and where we finished and everything. I finished in uh, intermediate and seventh place uh, with a seven down for the uh, tournament so like I said I'm very happy with that uh, never had played the course we did some practice holes like six practice holes which you saw in the video not all of them but some of them and uh, did a little bit but for the most part a blind course and I, I didn't have any practice at all this week before uh, besides Monday playing doubles uh, I like I said tied for seventh place my round ratings were 894 and 883 so both were above my uh, rating which was 878 before going into this tournament so hopefully my rating should shoot on up a little bit i'll update you guys on uh, pickle and uh, josh delp that was in there also uh they were in the tournament vlog so i'll let you know uh josh delp actually played advanced and let's see where he finished here he finished in fifth place with 11 down. That's real good. He has shot round ratings of 921 and 910. So that's good. Good job, Josh, man. That's awesome. And uh, Pickle was playing in recreational. And he placed um, uh, eighth place. Uh, not too bad. 853. And last round kind of got him, like you said, but 748. Uh, hopefully that one will drop off his rating. But, yeah. Uh, thanks to uh, Josh Delp and Jonathan Pickle Pickle for riding up there with me and Josh hanging out check out Basinger's travel vlog I know there's a tournament vlog and travel vlog which is kind of weird but uh, Josh Delp and Jonathan Pickle were actually on a video uh, episode of that I think it was number three if I'm not mistaken uh, in Virginia so if you want to see more of those guys make sure you check out that video once again I want to say huge huge thank you to Tim Barr for the tournament uh, outstanding event as always outstanding course layout uh, he's talking about trying to get that course in permanently hopefully he does so all of you can play that Zach Melton was there at the tournament he took the win in pro he shot 15 down the first round which is insane uh, I, I don't know exactly what I shot the second round but uh, I mean he killed it uh, shout out to Charlie Davenport for winning his division a friend of ours as well but yeah uh, great tournament got to see a lot of people that I normally don't get to see uh, Kobe Williams uh, Josh Crumley Dusty Breeden William Fayou a uh, bunch of people that I got to see so it was good Steve Frank was there it's great to see all of you guys uh, I know I'm, I don't want to forget anybody but yeah I, I saw it was a great turnout uh, 94 people I believe he had it was just great so that's it for the tournament vlog. Uh, thanks for checking out this series. If you like it, let me know in the comments. If you want me to keep doing it. I've got one more tournament that I am uh, signed up for, which is the Roco Open. It's going to be at the same course, Roan County course, uh, that I played in the very last tournament vlog. Check that one out if you haven't already. And uh, that's it for this tournament vlog. So this one was a positive one. Thankfully, I shot above my round rating on both of them. So hopefully... Um, getting things together getting lined up a little bit better i feel like i could have shot a little bit better during the tournament i mean i'm not complaining though because definitely shooting under par both rounds on a course that i never played uh very happy with so uh but hopefully next time uh, after having practice at roan county park hopefully i can do something a little bit better so uh, thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Uh, and he's designed a bunch of the courses and does so much work around this area. Got a text. Oh! Camera fell. Oh! That was a terrible round! Josh here. Uh, <laughs> well, my mouth. <laughs>
Focus. There you go. What? I saw that. Did you see that? Check out uh, Basinger's tournament vlog. Not tournament vlog. Basinger's... Hey, what's the name of that other series I got? Travel. Is that right? Okay.